episode begins with the team finishing up a crime as the police show up. Hey, uh, can we talk to you guys for a moment? Sure, what's up? It's about that ponytail guy you brought in a few weeks ago. He wants to see you, Five. What did you want? Beats me. What if he wants to tell us something? I don't know. This could be sketchy. Don't we want to know why he attacked us? Yeah, he spared my damn leg. The team agrees as they go with the police to the police station. We cut to a few hours later where the team arrive at the police station and find Zarin in a cell. <laughs> About time you showed up. I was worried. Cut the shit. <laughs> so, how's your leg? Grasshopper flips him off. No, I'm just gonna be in the waiting room. He's making me uncomfortable. Flatman leaves the area. Same. Grasshopper leaves the room. Cowards. Mr. Immortal leaves in discomfort. What the hell do you want from us? To help you see the big picture. What you're blind to see. <sighs> I'm not gonna deal with his mind games. Let me know when he actually tells you something. Bertha leaves the room. Got it. Squirrel does a thumbs up. And then there was one. Shoot. Um, this is my first interrogation. The one who defeated me in battle. I respect you. Most mercenaries would call your method stupid. But I call it clever. Just cut the shit and say what you want to say. Very well. Do you ever think of those criminals you fought have higher purpose? You watch the news? No. I just know every single superhuman you put behind bars. Pitchfork, Hippo, Human Fly, Pandemania, that Dr. Bong guy, those bird people, though my boss was never affiliated with them. How do you know about them? I'm a mercenary. Who do you work for? A scientist. Wait, what? Wait, what? A man who is an expert of Isotope 8. He hired the menagerie to take it, and Skeen managed to make the delivery to him. What? 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 So you've been in cahoots with this science guy for how long? I just know vague details. I was simply hired to kill your team to prevent you from sabotaging his plans. Um, can you give me a description of the guy? He wore a green hood. He's well known in the black market when it comes to isotope light. His genius is about a quarter of Reed Richards' intelligence. Um, does this guy have a name? Nobody knows his true name, but some people call him a mad thinker. Squirrel Girl starts getting scared. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Squirrel Girl leaves the room feeling cold. We cut to a few hours later where Squirrel Girl tells the team what Zarin told her. What the hell? There's a guy behind all the bad guys we fought? Except the raptors. So we just have to find this guy, right? We need to come up with a plan to stop this guy and whatever he's doing. Agreed. Why is the person with the power to talk to squirrels more mature than the guy in the cricket suit? I'm a goddamn grasshopper! Okay, let's find this mad thinker. We cut to the warehouse from episode 5 where the mad thinker played by Costas Mandalore finishes some final touches on his device. It's almost done. The mad thinker takes off his hood. Soon, the world will know my name, and when they do, they will beg for my mercy. The episode ends with the device working on being revealed to be an offline giant robot, then it cuts to black. Post credit scene shows. Hey, hey, hey! No, no, no post credit scene this episode. Okay, we've already had enough already. So let's just take a breather. Okay, enough is enough. It's time to stop. Um. Okay. 
Hey everybody, it's Adrian Manry, and I hope you guys enjoyed Great Lakes Avengers Episode 7. We have two more episodes on the way, and y'all, y'all are not ready for what happens next. Like, it's gonna get crazy. I can't spoil what, but what I can say is that these last two episodes are mind-blowing. Now, you might be wondering... Who is that giant robot that was talked about? Well, you'll see in episode 9. Like, we are almost done with season 1, and there are a lot more side projects to go, okay? So, with that out of the way, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I also have a YouTube channel, if you want to check that out down below. Also, check out the Nexus of Stories Discord. You'll like it there. But anyways, this is Adrian Manray, and see you next time when Great Lakes Avengers Episode 9 comes out. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.